So China and the United States of America are pretty much fighting over the pretty girl in the middle. That is Jamaica. Okay. All right, welcome back to SoFlow TV again, everybody. It is your host with the most. Don't move, okay? You're not going to see my face again until the end of this video. Usually, we would do morning thoughts, morning thoughts, morning thoughts. But I thought that this topic, this video is so important that I prefer to use the morning thoughts space to send you this video instead of us going live this morning let me set the video up real quick and then you can get into the video okay it has come to my attention that the u.s is very not pleased with the whole 5g system you know 5g is the new thing that's coming in causing all this controversy so jamaica trying to be a forward stepping country is going to get involved with modern technology but who are they going to do the deal with to set up 5G technology and so on and so forth in the country of Jamaica as the world moves forward. Hmm. Well, they could go with the US or they could go with US companies or US associated companies. These are their choices. Or they can go with the Chinese. The US has come out. US Ambassador Donald Tapia made it known that him not please. And he has put some ultimatums on the table. No need to listen to this. All right, this is your life, your world happening right now. Here's the video. So maybe you've been living under a rock or maybe you have been working a lot and you have not had time to pay attention to what has been trending in the news. So in a nutshell, it seems to me like the US is coming right out and telling Jamaica that if they go with the Chinese 5G, that the US will cut aids to them, to Jamaica, and even in time of emergency, won't be around to help them. Now that's deep, that's really deep. So an article came out recently, taken from the Jamaica Observer, shout out to the Jamaica Observer for this one, so there is no plagiarism, nothing going on. All right, US warns Jamaica against Chinese 5G. That was the headline, you can go Google it, and it was written by Durant Pate, and it was published October 25th, 2020. You can go look it up and read the article in completion for yourself. And that's for those people who always say, so Flo, list the, where you got the um, information from, your source. So there's one time I'm listing the source before I even begin. Now, the article says that the United States has fired a shot across the bow of the Jamaican government in relation to the installation of fifth generation 5G mobile technology infrastructures. That means that they might kick out. They don't want Jamaica to have any 5G mobile technology infrastructures that are funded by or set up by China or in links with China. Saying that any decision to engage China or a Chinese firm poses several risks to the island, particularly to the financial sector. This is what the U.S. is warning. If you're not going to listen to this, then you're going to miss the most important parts. Let's go. America's top diplomat in Jamaica, which is Ambassador Donald Tapia, he made Washington's position known in an exclusive interview with Sunday Observer. This is Washington's position he is making known. Okay, for those of you who don't know, Washington is the capital, it's where the White House is, this is where the president sits, and this is when they say he makes Washington's position known. Alright, now, here it is. Following an article published by the newspaper last Sunday reporting Spectrum Management Authority SMA saying that Jamaica is far advanced in preparing the regulatory and monitoring regime for the proliferation of 5G services in the island. Hmm. That means that Jamaica is set up and ready to go. Ready to receive it, ready to monitor it properly, and ready to use it. And this brought Donald Tapia out. Because while advancing his preference that Jamaica goes with other models of 5G architecture, Tapia made the point that the island's financial sector would be hit hard 
if the government engages 5G technology from a Chinese source. So he's not saying that Jamaica shouldn't have 5G technology. He is saying that Jamaica should go with somebody else, not the Chinese and not a Chinese associated company. Making it clear that his problem with China rests with the totalitarian nature of its government. Tapia said that his country, which is the United States of America, has national security concerns with 5G technology that is developed by Chinese companies such as Huawei and ZTE, declaring that these companies have been found wanting on... Now listen, now, listen carefully. Declaring that these companies have been found wanting on data security issues, Ambassador Tapia produced U.S. State Department information outlying myths and facts about 5G security and how we, the company. Included in the information is a declaration that no American company currently offers 5G end-to-end -end network solutions. Security concerns expressed by the United States are truly about ensuring our shared security is what Tapia said. It adds that alternative suppliers of end-to-end -end solutions are headquartered in democracies that offer rule of law and judicial protection to prevent government overreach. The document lists those suppliers as Ericsson in Sweden, Nokia in Finland, and Samsung in South Korea. So Tapia is saying they are vetted. They are under the structure. They have security measures in place to prevent government overreach. But China does not. So we are suggesting that you go with some other company and not China. The State Department also urges in the document that allowing Chinese equipment companies into any part of a 5G network creates unacceptable risks to national security, critical infrastructures, privacy, and human rights. Tapia again repeated or reiterated his government's position, which is the, the U.S. government's position, that it will reassess how it interconnects and shares information with countries that compromise their 5G security. Hmm, you hear that? So right there, it's like, well, we might have to raise some sanctions. We might have to lock you out of some things, leave you out of privy information. As for consequences, it's going to affect banking. Any financial transaction, this is Tapia still talking, and he said, as for consequences, it is going to affect banking, any financial transaction from the island of Jamaica. He also added, that's the biggest consequence that you have, that your financial institutions and the finance of Jamaica stops. That's the consequence that you are looking at long term. The finance of Jamaica stops. So what does that tell you? He went on to say, another negative consequence of utilizing Chinese developed 5G, he said, was access to aid in times of disaster. Want to hear that? Another negative consequence of utilizing Chinese developed 5G he said, this is Donald Tapia, he says that it was access to aid in times of disaster. He went on to clarify that if you were to have a hurricane, earthquake, or any type of natural disaster, we cannot and we will not move into a communist Chinese network because it gives them the opportunity to download all the data that we have, is what he said. You either have to look to the east, to the two-headed dragon, or you're going to have to look to the north. It's a decision that your government will have to make. This is what Tapia said. He pointed to the United, the United Kingdom's government decision earlier this year 
banning mobile providers in that country from buying new Hawaii 5G equipment after December of this year. The Boris Johnson administration also ordered the companies to remove all Hawaii 5G kits from their networks by 2027 because they already bought into it and it's already in action. London's decision came after Washington imposed sanctions on the Chinese firm, which the Americans says poses a national security threat. Hawaii has denied the accusations. Now, this article goes on and on, and I suggest that you go and read that article. At the same time, this video is about to get a bit longer because the Chinese have responded to this. So then I take the thing serious. Now before we go into what the Chinese have said, I want you to read De La Vega's comment because De La Vega says, the 5G network was launched in China on the 1st of November, 2019. And by December, the coronavirus struck as many conspiracy theorists were going around claiming that this was the origin of the virus based on its timing you know enough people did i say the 5g started start the corona thing because it is emitting so much of high radial um high frequencies that it is getting people sick that is one theory that's out there or one conspiracy theory that's out there right which by the way is yet to be proven rumors also have it that a mixed group of scientists and doctors came together and told China to abort the 5G because of the strong radiation and the health risks that it poses to humans, but it was launched anyways. The speed of 5G, for those of you who don't understand what 5G is or will do, the speed of 5G will have a two-hour movie downloaded in less than 10 seconds. This is how fast your internet will become. And because your internet will be that fast, when things happen, you and people across the globe can be connected more. Money will move faster, transfers, all these other things that we do online, right? This will be a critical decision for the government. And what is to be understood from what Tapia is saying has nothing to do with the health risk, but his warning to Jamaica is to stay away from China, which I gather Hawaii, that company, has one of the more advanced 5Gs in the world. Now we're going to talk about what the Chinese said because they responded and this is what they said. So for the people, for the people who really want the information, they will listen to the entire video. And when they listen to the entire video, they will get my sources. So jm.china slash embassy.org is where the Chinese reply is posted. jm.china, which in Jamaican Chinese, Chinese embassy.org, jm.china slash embassy.org is where the Chinese comments on this is posted so the Chinese responded before I read any further let me just say history has shown that the Chinese are no pushover so expect there to be some kind of tussle here right now me feel like say, Jamaica the sexy woman in the middle that have two men a fight over her and they both want her and she's willing to take things from both of them but we know these kind of relationships kind of always end in not such a good way so how this bread is going to break apart, we don't know yet, but we certainly do have some kind of guessing going on out there as there are people in the audience who have their own notion of what is about to take place. Some have said prophecies are going to fulfill, others have said things are going to fall apart all the way apart, apart big war are come, I mean, all kinds of something are going on. Personally, I will leave my own comments as to how I feel about this relationship here I will leave my comments out of this and I will allow the audience to do it list their comments in the comment section anyhow the Chinese responded and the Chinese says we firmly reject and strongly condemn the remarks recently made by US ambassador to Jamaica Mr. Donald Tapia, warning Jamaica against cooperation with China or Chinese enterprises like Hawaii 
on 5G mobile technology infrastructure. Ambassador Tapia's allegations about China and Chinese enterprises are filled with Cold War mentality and hegemonistic mindset, which fully expose the consistent U.S. practice of arbitrarily interfering in other countries' domestic and foreign policies and forcing small and medium-sized countries to choose sides. 5G technology is without borders and for the benefit of the people in every country in the world. It should be politicalized. It shouldn't be politicalized. Hawaii, the company, and other Chinese enterprises have been doing business in Jamaica in accordance with market principles and international rules and abide by Jamaican laws and regulations. Operating in Jamaica for more than a decade, Hawaii is a localized company with a track record in high quality products, solutions as well as cybersecurity. And they've been working in Jamaica for over a decade. Without providing any evidence, Ambassador Tapia has stretched the concept of national security and abused his status as an ambassador to influence Jamaica from carrying out normal exchanges and cooperation with certain Chinese enterprises. Such practice goes against market economy rules and the WTO or World Trade Organization principles of openness, transparency, and non-discrimination. It is a blatant act of bullying to which both China and Jamaica should firmly oppose. This is the reply from China. There is more. They went on to say, the U.S. is in no position to point fingers at China or Chinese enterprises in terms of threatening other countries' national security. Chinese enterprises have been cooperating with local partners all over the world. There has not been a single cybersecurity incident like those revealed by Edward Snowden, Snowden or WikiLeaks. Not a single tapping or surveillance operation like PRISM, Equation Group, or Echelon has there been. Furthermore, not a single country has produced evidence of so-called threatening national security by products and services provided by Chinese companies. Confucius once said, What you do not wish for yourself, do not do to others. China believes that all countries, regardless of size, have the right to independently develop foreign relations based on their own interests. Attempts to prevent countries from carrying out normal exchanges and cooperating through pressure and coercion will not succeed and will end up becoming a laughing stock of the international community. China and Jamaica are strategic partners. Over the years, our two countries have developed good relations based on the five principles of peaceful coexistence and conducted friendly cooperation on the basis of consultation on an equal footing and mutual benefit, bringing tangible benefits to the Chinese and the Jamaican people. Jamaica will work with China to uns unswervingly expand and deepen bilateral strategic cooperative partnership. People can't wait there. So when China responded and said that China, oh, she, they said China will work with Jamaica. Because if they had said Jamaica will work with China, then I would say, damn, it don't sound like Jamaica has a choice. But that's not what was said. This is the Chinese reply to what Donna Tapia said that I am reading to you. China will work with Jamaica to unswervingly expand and deepen bilateral strategic cooperative partnership. People can tell right from wrong. We are convinced that no one will be fooled by Ambassador Tapia's allegations, which are nothing but deceiving himself and fawning on somebody at home. The mutually 
beneficial cooperation and the friendship between the Chinese and Jamaican enterprises and people have laid a solid foundation for the development of bilateral relations. We support the joint efforts of business community and people from all walks of life in both countries to continuously enhance mutual understanding, foster friendship and deepen cooperation so as to accumulate more positive energy for the improvement and the development of China, Jamaica strategic relations. As a Chinese proverb goes, before preparing to improve the world, first look around your own home three times. We encourage Ambassador Tapia to focus on his own business and matters at home with gross racial injustices, the spike in COVID-19 cases, and the contracting economy. If he really cares about the development of Jamaica, it would bode well for him to do something about it and stop spreading rumors and creating trouble. For the sake of members of diplomatic corps, we wish the sense of reason and justice soon come to Ambassador Tapia. And that was Embassy of the People's Republic of China in Jamaica, all rights reserved. And their contact number is at 8 Seaview Avenue, Kingston 10, with a telephone number with a 1876 and an email address as well, which is a .gov email address. Okay, so we are not plagiarizing their material. We are using their material for this discussion sake to let the people know that China did respond. And so that the Jamaican people can actually see that both parties are engaged and both parties share different interests. Now on our level, when we are going to talk about this whole Chinese 5G thing and all this thing, we must understand that 5G is what is next. It seems like a technology that is more advanced. And if you have been around for more than 20 years, then you can remember what a cell phone looked like 20 years ago and what a cell phone looks like today. The capabilities of a computer and a, tel and a cell phone 20 years ago and the capabilities of one today. So you see that the world is moving in a technologically advanced direction and no one is going to slow down technology because that is man. Man wants to know the ultimate which we can go. Governments are tuned together to go the distance into the future, developing different things, technology led by technology. So we have to move into the future. The question is, who will Jamaica move into the future with? Will Jamaica stand up and say to the US, listen, we don't care if we have a natural, a national disaster and you don't want to help us because we're working with China. We see your intentions. You've made it clear and we still don't care. Or we don't care if, um, national security information, we are left out of it. We will get our information some other way. We don't care if you sanction us, cut back on visas, do anything that you've threatened to do. We are going to go with the Chinese model of the 5G networks anyways. Or is Jamaica going to say, you know what, US, let's talk about this. Maybe we can work a little something with China and a little something with you and we in the middle. Or is Jamaica going to say, listen, we're all the way with the US. We have to drop all works with China. I highly doubt that the last one is going to be the answer. China is embedded in Jamaica deeply. Don't bother act like the Chinese just came yesterday. They've been there for a while, okay? And they've been doing big business in Jamaica for a while. A lot of which is to the benefit of Jamaica. The Chinese also get their benefit out of it as well. Nobody gives you nothing for free. We know that. Now is the time for decision. Can Jamaica turn its back on its long-standing friend, the Chinese? Because U.S. is saying what they're saying. Or the wise thing would be to go with those who you have an established relationship and continue 
into the future with them. You, the audience, leave your comments in the comment section below. Do you think China has strings attached as far as they want to take over the complete island? Or do you think that China is just doing business with Jamaica? And of course, for helping Jamaica to move forward, they themselves can also benefit. But in what way? When he speaks of national security, immediately comes to my mind is your information and your uh, fingerprint. I, your DNA, your uh, the whole DNA database, everything can be taken away, replicated, or they have access to information about Jamaican citizens that Jamaican citizens don't want to be out there for others to use. But how likely is it that China would violate Jamaica in this way? And are there measures put in place to prevent the Chinese from doing that? Or are we just going on an honor system? I don't know. Talk up in the comment section. It's SoFlow TV. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll catch you on the next video. I'm out. Peace. Peace.